Yo, 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 it's good. I'm so mad. I just took this video and I just found out that this wasn't even recording. So, ugh, I feel like an idiot. Canada Goose, Parka, Camouflage. Uh, yeah. Everything real over here. Calm down, calm down. I know y'all, I know how y'all roll, man. I know how y'all roll. Y'all, y'all vicious in the comments, you know? Like, everything's real over here, Playboy. As a matter of fact, that's probably not even enough for y'all. They got the Neiman Marcus receipt. And when I was doing the video, uh, I found out that the receipt actually faded away. But you can still see right here the Carson Parker with fur, Canada Goose, green pattern, large, uh, King of Prussia, uh, 995. Y'all see that? Well, it don't matter if y'all see that or not because this shit is real. <laughs> I mean... Shit, do I really have to show y'all Neiman Marcus bags and Louis Vuitton bags? Anyway, so yes, the large Canada Goose, um, Coyote fur. Uh, let's let's start with the tags first uh, before I even try this on and everything. All right, so here we go. The real fur, as I was talking about in the other video. Uh, sorry for any noise in the background. I'm sorry about that. I know I need my nails clipped. Man, I'm so busy right now. <laughs> but real fur. And um, I was saying before, uh, if you're buying this off of somebody and you see this real fur, don't automatically think that it's real, okay? A lot of fake Canada Goose coats have this real fur on it too. I don't know how they get in this stuff, but they're getting very, very slick. And also with the, uh, if you're buying the second hand, also look at the stitching patterns, LG font. The quality is there. You have to look, you have to look at these things because I bought a fake Canada Goose coat before and it was not cool. It was not cool. I didn't like it, not one bit. You got to look at this stuff. Very quality. Just pay attention to all these details, please. Um, don't get got like me. I went to Neiman Marcus and got my own because people play too much. All right? So don't play yourself. Make sure you look at this stuff. Follow by my follow by my examples, you know. Don't, don't screw up like me. Or maybe you like fake stuff. Maybe. I don't know. That's up to you. All right? We're not discriminating nowhere over here, Playboy. So, and this uh, rubbed off. This was the barcode and explaining what kind of model this is. This is the Carson Parka. Um, they have three versions of this camo. Um, well, the same camo, but different coats of the camo, if that makes any sense. So this one was the uh, Carson. I seen one that had this patch right here. That is real, guys. And I also see one with uh, dogs in the back. I'm sorry. Uh, there's also a version without the fur. Uh, I believe that's less money. Um, you know, completely up to you guys. This coat is water resistant. Uh, just pay attention to all the details, man. Try not to look at the zippers too much because even the fake ones got good looking zippers. Uh, yeah, just look at the stitching and everything, guys. Everything is pretty much perfect condition, yeah. Uh, also, look at this. You know, just try to pick up on things, man. The Canada Goose always change up their tags, so don't just look at this and be like, oh, this is how all of them look, um, because they, they switch up every year, I believe. Yeah, they always switch up, but this barcode is still good quality assurance and what a lot of people don't know is you can actually go to like there's a Neiman Marcus uh I mean not a Neiman Marcus there's an actual Canada Goose store in Shore Hills New Jersey or Fifth Avenue Fifth Ave uh New York and um if anything has happened to your coat they go by this so it's very important you keep that in good condition keep it inside the pockets so uh you can get a brand new coat 
And that's the way to do it, you know? That's what you get with a thousand dollars, man. They take care of you if your coat is in bad shape, no matter how old it is. It's a lifetime warranty. Um, you know, just a little fun fact. Uh you know, y'all could pretty much see that. Just make sure everything is on point, guys. It's very important. Uh, I'm going to show you the back of the coat. Oh, yeah, so I bought this from Neiman Marcus, as you may know. They gave me this. They gave me the hanger right there that has Neiman Marcus written on the back of it. I'm not going to show you guys that because y'all don't care about that stuff. Um, this is how it looks in the back. I got a large. I'm a size six foot. And, um, yeah, they also said look at this to see if the code is fake or not. Um, nice brass finish. Yeah, look at the engravement. It's very important, guys. All right. And uh, I'm going to just try this on. I'm not going to edit this out. I'm thinking about buying another Canada Goose coat, honestly. Um, thinking about a blue version. I think a blue version would be dope. What y'all think? Let me know down below how y'all feel about that. All right. And once again, I'm six foot, guys. I'm going to try this on. All right. This is a large. I'm gonna do an unzip. Alright. Now I'm gonna throw the hood on. I'm gonna do a side to side comparison. This hood is really, really huge, guys. Now I'm going to show you guys how it looks when it's fully zipped. And notice how, how sink in I, I'm in this coat. Like this, this coat is like huge located. Y'all see how, how synced in I am? I'm totally protected from the snow. <laughs> and any wind. And this coat is super duper hot. That's that's if that's how you know if the Canada Goose coat is real or not. You should be hot as hell. I'm really hot in this expensive ass coat, man. I like having it buttoned up too. It's very comfortable. I can flex around in this. Um, I can pretty much full shop, go to a party in this, uh, family event, school, work. Pretty much very comfortable, man. You know, it doesn't feel like I gotta use extra muscle. I can just pretty much pick things up, put things down, boom. You know, this is what a thousand dollars get you. And the pockets are very, very warm. That's how you know if your Canada Goose coat is real. You should be very warm in pockets. Like, you pretty much don't need a glove. Um, coyote fur trim. Very nice. Block the wind. Just very nice, man. If you're six foot, I guarantee you, you will like the large. But if you want to go medium, I'm not mad at you. You know, I like I like my things to fit a little bit, you know. So I feel like I'm not suffocating, you know. Very relaxed feel. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Canada Goose. Stay tuned. I might have a Montclair or I might have a Canada Goose, another one. We don't know, but I'll get right back at you. Holla at me. Canada Goose.